YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Paulus Harris, aka the Medusa. Hey, if this is your first time, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, every time I post up new content. Uh, this is going to be a revisited subject. Uh, I did a show uh, a while back, as far as like the stimulus checks. Where I said, hey, look, don't cash them. But come to find out, they actually really finna try to do this shit direct positive. So here's the deal. They going off of what the fuck you did. If you've already filed your doggone 2019 tax returns, if you have a bank account, your bank account information is on there, then guess what? They already got you. But then if you actually really stop and think about it, the motherfuckers is actually like who they actually really targeting is the people that's already that already done filed their taxes and they uh, account information is on the doggone uh, taxes. Right? If you've already filed. Rapid refund for the most part. If you actually really stop and think about it, these motherfuckers have been planning this shit for years. So, my thing is that, okay, here's the attack. The so called attack. The bullshit attack. So, guess what? Once you get your money, your stimulus check. Because here it is that they already looking, they already didn't be like, okay, well, you either filed this year, last year, or if you didn't do that, then doggone, they going off of your last address or where you lived at. But then again, you got to look at it like this. They want to sit up here and say, if you ain't got the motherfucking account, then your shit may come slower than usual. But then again, you gotta look at it like this. Light bills or utility bills, whether it's light water gas or you might just have lights and you might just have lights and water. And depending on how big, depending on who your electric company is, right? Maybe over a big vast lot of motherfucking customers so great the fact I mean I great the fact I know it's nothing like the doggone uh, government but the thing about it though is this if the people if the utility bill people can actually really get they shit out on time and say hey look this is what the fuck you owe us. Then what the fuck is the problem or the so-called problem that the United States government claims that they have when giving out this money? Because guess what? The motherfuckers that you owe on a monthly basis, they ain't got no problem going to shit through mail or through email. Saying, hey, look, you owe us this amount of money. You need to pay up by such and such a day. So all of this stuff with the doggone United States government coming out with all that kind of stuff. Oh, if you ain't got no bank account, then yeah, we may be a little slow in getting your shit. But here's the deal. <laughs> you do that, you, 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 you know I mean, you get these motherfuckers, yo. Banking information. And this is where the bullshit actually really starts. Right? They got your information. They already who the fuck you bank with. They got your account number, routing number. So now, just know this. Once the shit comes out around, around Easter Sunday, maybe a couple of days after the fact, right? Everybody get their little bullshit money, right? My advice to y'all is this. Once you get that money,
close out your goddamn account, go to your boss, man, and say, hey, look, you need to, like, write my shit out for me. Or go get another bank. But then again, you don't need these motherfuckers. Uh, the motherfuckers, they going to chase you. Plain and simple. So I'm going to tell you what the fuck is going to happen. This shit is about to end. Right? Because once everybody get that 1200 or whatever, however much it is, once it hits your bank account or whatever, then watch the so-called bullshit mandatory vaccine comes out where then everybody going to have to get inoculated. Now, this is a lot of motherfuckers, so I really won't ask that really stop and look at it and be like, okay, put like this, the chips are already made, right? It's too easy to send the motherfucking five, because they, they finna use the 5G or whatever, because they can actually like really shoot you with the chip, right? And then they can update the information later. Just like what the fuck they do with your phones. Right? So it's like, okay, yeah, he had this or she had this. They changed that. Well, guess what? We got them anyway. So a signal will be sent out. Right? And they got you in the goddamn way. They finna start lowjacking motherfuckers. This shit is finna be like demolition man. All goddamn day long. Ain't nobody finna do no crime no more. Or if you did crime, guess what? They already know where the fuck you at because of the chip. Because of the chip. But then again, you can't get mad at these motherfuckers because these are the same people that y'all put in office. I don't vote. I only voted twice. But I don't vote for nobody. Ain't finna vote for nobody. Because I already know that this stuff is bullshit. But the thing about it though is this. The bullshit starts. Or it's going to go up to an extreme high level. Because it's already just started. Police officers are at grocery stores. Because guess what? A lot of motherfuckers have been going out and saying, oh, we're even to have military personnel. And all shopping areas. Whether it's the grocery store or at the mall. We have the mall is closed. The, the mall is closed, at least the one here. But they got the doggone police station or the police officers at the goddamn grocery store. So it's almost like okay, these motherfuckers they know. Oh, they listening. They paying attention. So they think that military personnel is gonna be at certain key locations. So we're not gonna do the military personnel. We gonna put actually police officers in the same in the same place. But the thing about it though, it's still the same shit, people. It's still the same shit. So, like I said, for those of y'all that don't have a checking account, don't do it. And for the most part, if you got a credit card. If you got that chime shit, if you got shit where you can actually, well, look, put my shit on this car, and it got to go to a bank. But then again, here's the deal. You do that, a bank still is going to be involved nine times out of ten. So, just like this, unless a motherfucker can actually really produce a piece of paper, of the company and if it don't say the company the name of the company the address website of any and if it don't say pay to the order of whatever the fuck your name is right and whatever bank that they have right if it don't say that then you might want to second guess that shit but at the same time if your boss man or boss woman or boss people can actually like really say, hey, look, 
Write my shit out. And then I take my chances at the check cashing place. So, with that being said, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your uncle, tell your auntie, tell Big Dan, tell Big Bertha, tell your, uh, tell your grandma, tell Papa, tell the motherfucker next door across the street around the corner. Hey, Paulus Harris, a.k.a. the Medusa. Go get your money out the goddamn bank once that shit happens. Switch bank accounts on the ass. Right? Let's fight these motherfuckers the best way that we can and we know how. Till next time.